And actually, string can also be considered. Uh, I'm not going to say that is a list, but it is a sequence of characters. Uh, so it, you can use some methods that uh, in list that will apply to strings as well. OK, so let's see. Uh, first, just let you know that also when you define a string, so if you have slash t, this will not print slash t in your output, but instead it will be a tab. OK, so it is a long space. It's a tab character. Uh, similarly, so if you define, if you, you have slash n in your string, so that will not gen when the output is not a n, but it will be a new line. So it, this is the second, first line. So a slash n will put the remaining part into a new line. Okay. Um, and also we said that a string can be considered something that is similar to list, which means that you can also use the length function to count the number of the characters in the string. And also remember that if you have symbols or spaces, those will also be included in this count of the number. OK, the spaces also symbols are included. Uh, you can also use index to access those characters in a string. So, uh, so you, in this way, by doing that, you, you are using you you are treating the string so something similar uh, to a list. Okay, so let's see some examples. Uh, so let's say let's print a string. Hello, word. Okay, and if you write, and you can see we do have a hello word. So however, if you print slash t. Okay, so by doing that, you will not have hello slash t word because slash t is will be considered a tab character in Python. So if we run it, you can see here we have a tab character. So that uh, that is a long space that in the in your stream. Okay, and uh, similarly, so if you print slash n. OK, so that indicate a new line uh, in your output. So you will not have hello slash n word in your result. So now if I run it, you can see hello will be the first line. The word will go to the second line. OK, so slash n and also slash t has special meanings in Python. All right, so go back to our uh, hello world string. So as we mentioned earlier, so you can also use the lens function. Remember, the length function is a built-in function in Python. OK, and to count the number of the characters in this string. So we use print, and also within this print, we are calling this length function. OK, so length parentheses, and we have hello world. So here you can see we have hello space word. OK, hello space word. So now if we run it, we can see the result is 11, OK? Because we have five characters, one space, and also another five characters. Remember, the space and also symbols will also be counted. So if you see hello world dot or period, and if you run it, and you can see the result now become 12. OK, all right. And you can also use index. So for example, if I use, print, use hello world, OK? And I can use, so that will give you the entire Hello World string. However, if I use uh, index, so let's see the first item. So that will give you edge. And if you want to get the last item, OK, so that will give you the string D. OK, so you can also use index to access characters in a string. And now let's talk about the set. Uh, so set is similar to list, but it, first it is unordered. So there is no order in a set. Secondly, all the items must be unique. OK, so if you have duplicated items, so Python will only keep the unique items in the set. And you can create a set with this curly bracket. or use this built-in function that is set function. OK, 
Uh, so normally we are using set to check uh, and also use the in operator to check the membership. So for example, if you want to check whether or not some items in the uh, uh, in in a collection, so we can use its in operator, so which will be very efficient. And in Python three, remember that uh, if you want to use index on a set, you need to convert the set to the list first. Okay, so you cannot uh, use index on a set directly. So you have to convert set into list first, and then you can use index. Okay, again, so let's uh, see an example. So first, let's say we define uh, uh, a list which is which contains several uh, words. So let's say letter A, and we have another letter A, and let's say we have a letter B, and we have another letter B, and we have a letter C. Okay, so in this my uh, in this list. We have five items, but we have duplicated items. So if we print my letters, okay. So now you can see we have those uh, duplicated items. However, if we print, if we convert the the list into a set by using this set function, okay. So we convert this list into a set. And now, if we run it, you can see in this set, which is uh, within a pair of the curly bracket, and we can see we only have letter A, letter B, and also letter C. So they are all unique. Okay, uh, and also you can see the order changed because the order really uh, are not maintained in set. So uh, if you run it multiple times, okay, so sometimes you will see a different order. Okay. And um, we can also uh, uh, use the, the length function. Okay, so for example, uh, let's see, uh, my let's say that my unique letters equals set and my letters okay so now if we print my uh, unique letters okay so we have this one and I think you can also apply length function uh, I didn't mention that in the lecture but yes so you can see uh, we will have we have three items in this um, in this set, because we have three unique items in this set. All right, and we also, as I said, we also use can use the in function. So, for example, if we want to check the letter A, whether or not the letter A in my in this set, we see A. In sorry, the in is an operator, so it's not a function. So, A in my unique letters, and you can see it is true. And if we say C in my unique set, it is also true. And if we say what's not D in my unique set, okay, and also it is false. Okay, so when you're use, going to use in operators, so in operators will be more efficient on set than uh, on list. Okay, so if you want to check, like, say, the membership. So whether or not some people belong to uh, a specific group and you, you can convert other people's ID into a set and you can check using this in operator. Okay, and we also, I also said that you cannot use the index directly on set. So for example, if you want to get the first items. Okay, we have this error because set object does not support index. So we have to convert the set into a list. So to convert the set into list, we use the list function, okay? So we convert that one into a list. So now we have this set and we convert that set into this list. 
And once we converted that one into a list, and we can use this index. OK. OK, uh, so now you can see now we can get the first item. In this case, the first item is B. OK, but if you run it multiple times and the result might be slightly different. OK, because uh, when you convert this set into a list, so the order in the set uh, and, uh, can change sometime. OK, uh, so just FYI, so those are the built in functions in Python. Uh, again, similarly to the keywords in Python, so I just gave you those uh, this table as a reference, so you don't need to remember all those built-in functions. You don't need to remember all those keywords. So it's nice if you re you can remember all of them, but uh, it's it is not necessary. So right now we have learned the set. Um, a lens, okay, and and also the list. So we uh, so we are going to learn more and more of those uh, those built-in functions uh, on this table. But you don't need to remember all of them. So just as a reference, that uh, you can check when you need it, and also the print. Okay. Uh, so again, just an over uh, summary of the data containers. So. We already talked about the list, which is a collection of the values, and the uh, they are ordered items, and they are declared by this square bracket. And we also talked about set, so those are also a collection of the values, but all the items must be unique, and also the symbol to de define a set is this uh, square bracket, a curly bracket. Sorry, a curly bracket. Uh, so next week, we will talk about dictionaries and also tuples. So dictionaries are a collection of the key value pairs. Uh, so they are paired key values. And also the symbol is also um, this uh, curly bracket. Tuple is also a collection of the values, which is similar to list and also set, but it is immu immutable. So that means the items in the tuple cannot be changed. And the symbol for the tuple is a parenthesis. And finally, as always, so do not forget that we upload our uh, local repository to the GitHub. So it is git at dash dash all and git commit dash m so we can add a comment. Um, uh, so you can design your own comments. So I will talk, uh, call this one lecture three talk about set okay and I just say git push okay so now that is has is going to be uploaded to my github so now if we check uh, our repository okay great so now you can see lecture 3 is just uh, updated 